to open officially the December 2001 commencement ceremony of the University of Texas at San Antonio with the University Marshal bearing the mace and the faculty marshals conveying the college banners for the College of Business and the College of Public Policy, please come forward to position the mace and post the banners. The UTSA faculty, university administrators, and staff, and our community of UTSA graduates welcome you, our guests, to the UTSA commence commencement. Will all please rise for the singing of the national anthem led by UTSA student Jennifer Root and the posting of the colors by the UTSA Air Force ROTC.
Please be seated. I am pleased to introduce Dr. Ricardo Romo, President of the University of Texas at San Antonio. Welcome. Good afternoon. This is a great, great day for the graduates of UTSA. And I commend all your family and friends for filling up our convo to help us celebrate one of the most special moments in your history and in your life. It's my pleasure to welcome the December 2001 commencement ceremonies here at the University of Texas, San Antonio. It's a privilege for me to be able to welcome you and your families. You, the students, are the reason we're here. You, the students, are the ones we are here to congratulate, honor, and wish you success. You're the scientists, the writers, the policy makers, the engineers, the musicians, computer scientists, teachers, and artists who will shape our future. And yes, your task is enormous. And it has been made even more enormous by the events of this past fall. But you are a very, very, very capable group. And I know you are up to the task of leading us in this 21st century. I wish each one of you great success and the opportunity to share your success with others. You will be asked many times to give back. You will be asked many times to be involved with church, synagogues, mosques, neighborhood activities, civic activities, and I know you're up to the task. One of the reasons that our country stands apart from so many other nations is the availability of education. I guess we call it access and opportunity. And all of you have had the privilege of being educated in America that has one of the finest higher education systems in the world. But it's not enough to be educated. There's yet more. Franklin Roosevelt once said that gains made in education can never really be lost. You can ban the books, you can burn the books, but what you have gained, what is in your great mind, is there forever. So I hope that you will not let this yearning of learning stop now. And I hope also that you continue your relationship with UTSA, either as a volunteer or support in some fashion. As UTSA continues to be the fastest growing institution in the state and one of the best in the state, we need your help to move us forward to becoming the next flagship in the state of Texas. In the coming year, you'll see us admitting new students in our programs, in our doctoral programs, in our master's programs. And you'll see, as you drive off here and come back in the next six months, groundbreaking for three new buildings. Indeed, one of the buildings, our science building, will be one of the largest and most sophisticated science buildings in the state of Texas. And we're proud of that. We're proud of that. We're proud of those gains. We've got momentum, and with your help, we will continue forward. I will add that this morning we had the privilege of having the 50,000th graduate of UTSA walk across stage. There are now 50,000 graduates of UTSA. It was quite an honor for us to have Ms. Holtz here. But we recognize, of course, that she represents you and you may be 51st thousand or 52nd thousand, 
What's important is all of you, all of you are our graduates and all of you are going to be successful because you were here at UTSA. So let me congratulate you, commend you for your hard work and your achievements. Congratulate you and your families that are here to share this great moment. And I wish you great success. Thank you so much. Thank you, President Romo. It is now my pleasure to introduce other members of the stage party who I will ask to stand and be recognized. I ask you to hold your applause until all members of the stage party have been recognized. James C. Mickey, President, Southeast Region Sprint PCS, who will present our commencement address later in the program. Guy H. Bailey, Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs. Rosalie N. Ambrosino, Vice President for Student Affairs. Rex H. Ball, Executive Director, Institute of Texan Cultures. Dorothy A. Flanagan, Interim Dean of Graduate Studies. Bruce O. Bublitz, Dean of the College of Business. Jesse T. Zapata, Dean of the College of Public Policy and Vice Provost for UTSA Downtown. Joel G. Sagert, Professor of Marketing and University Marshal. Jerome P. Keating, Professor of Statistics, representing the faculty of the College of Business. Ni nee He, Assistant Professor of Criminal Justice, representing the faculty of the College of Public Policy. R. Rene Escobedo, President of the UTSA Alumni Association. Please join me now in welcoming the members of our stage party. It is now my honor to introduce to you our commencement speaker. Many of you may know about him because he's been involved with our campus for many years. Indeed, he's come to many of our basketball games. He's an alum. He's a native of San Antonio and received his degree in business back in 1978. Since that time, he has built a broad career in the field of telecommunications. We're proud of the fact that his education began here at UTSA, and we like to believe that the foundation of his education what has enabled him to be the leader that he is today. After graduation, Jim was involved in a very highly competitive management uh, training program with Southwestern Bell. This, only, this, this particular program only took the top 1%. It was a special forces executive program, and he was part of that team and highly successful. He went through a fast track program with the Southwestern Bell, then when they broke up and became Southwestern Bell AT&T, he went on with AT&T. Today, he is regional president for Sprint PCS. He is responsible for some 3,000 employees involved in, a, in sales and marketing. He has 10 states, Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. And I understand that soon they will probably add another 20 states to his portfolio. He is involved in all aspects of telecommunication, but he's very successful in turning, turning around failing divisions, topping records in sales, services, and countless other activities. When he's not involved with his business, he's involved with his community, he serves on numerous boards. He and his wife, Pat, have three children, and one daughter, Katie, is enrolled here at UTSA. Now, let's, uh, let's get an applause there for uh, sending, uh, for graduating from here and sending his daughter here. Now, some of you know Jim Mickey because of the uh, activities when he was here in the late 70s. And he's going to talk about those activities. We've asked him to talk about those activities because we are roadrunners in part because of his role. He is really a remarkable individual, and we're proud to call him one of our own. Jim Mickey. Thank you, Dr. Romo, and thank you for asking me to share this occasion with each one of you. Let me first not only offer 
congratulations to you, the graduates, but also to ask you to join me in congratulating those who have made it possible for you to be here today. Your parents, spouses, family, friends, all those people here with you who've been there with you all along the way. It's hard for me to believe that it's almost been 25 years to the month since I'm sitting where you are today. I remember how excited and how proud I was. I was also apprehensive, but I also remember being struck by one singular thought. How long is this guy going to speak? <laughs> I realize my little talk stands between you and the rest of your life, so I'll be brief. As Adelaide Stevenson once told a group of graduates, my job is to talk, yours is to listen. Let's hope you're not done with your job before I'm done with mine. As, UTSA, as a UTSA graduate, I know I can talk fast, and I know as UTSA graduates, I know you can listen fast. In all seriousness, I've precisely been where you are, so I hope to encourage and galvanize you as you leave these hollowed halls for the commercially carpeted ones of corporate America. It may seem like a difficult time in our economy to be embarking on a career. It may also seem like an awkward time to be graduating, but this is merely first of an example of a lesson that we spend the rest of our lives learning. Nothing goes entirely as planned. In fact, life in business and your life in business will probably take you places and create experiences that you never anticipated. Certainly, I could not have told you sitting where you are today that I would have a career in telecommunications or that I would have become a region president for Sprint PCS. But that is not to say that we leave school and move through our careers completely at random. I did know that I wanted to be a leader in a dynamic organization, that corporate America and leading people was a place where I would thrive. You probably know these things about yourselves, I'm sure. So what I'm here to say is twofold, really. Don't be alarmed if the path ahead of you appears shadowed and uncertain at times. But do look inside yourselves deeply enough to really know what energizes you, what motivates you, so that you're able to make good decisions about the kind of opportunities you choose and those that you pass up. A friend and I, while at UTSA, used to say, life is the only adventure you get to create. I constantly remind myself of that, especially when things seem bleak or problems insurmountable. Ultimately, everything we do, every issue we tackle, is part of a bigger, greater adventure. We just may not know it at the time. When I was an undergraduate at UTSA, one of the biggest decisions before our student body was selecting a mascot. Seems simple enough, except it wasn't. There were factions on all sides, each pushing a name, but one name was clearly better than the rest. Just imagine if you sat here today, the 2001 graduating class of armadillos. Well, a handful of my friends were not about to be the armadillos. Consider the possible nicknames our opponents might give us. I mean, the dillos could easily become, well, you can imagine for yourselves. Anyway, we went for it. We came up with the Roadrunners and we demanded a new election. Somehow, we managed to get Disney to give us the rights to reproduce the Roadrunner character and spent what little money we had to produce 100 t-shirts or so. We got Dan Cook to write about us in the newspaper. We campaigned hard and we won. At the time, it seemed important to us as students, but honestly, we weren't thinking about the implications, what the implications would be for the future generations. Nevertheless, we felt like we were doing the right thing. And I think you will agree that we were. I mean, my God. The armadillos? Armadillo basketball? The point is, what we did changed the face of the university. It had a major impact on how UTSA would be regarded in the future and who you are symbolically as UTSA alumni. What ultimately matters was not our great vision for the future because we really didn't have one. What does matter is that we did what we thought was right and we did it 100%. As a manager, this is a lesson that I'm constantly trying to remind my direct reports and their direct reports. Life is a valuable thing. If you're going to spend any of it with one company or on a project or with a group of coworkers, do it all the way. Find balance in life, yes, but strive for your best always. Now, the irony is that it is those times when it seems most difficult to give it our all or to be excited about where we might be in our career is when we need to be fully engaged in thinking positively. You will find that even though you're leaving school and textbooks behind, the business world has its own kind of academia. There are a host of books presenting theories and approaches to sales, marketing, motivation, managerial style, leadership, corporate culture, organizational structure. You name it, there is a book about how to improve it. From seven habits of highly effective people to who moved my cheese, these theories come in and out of favor. But there is one scholar who I believe offers advice that endures. Advice so true that no matter where you are in life, you can find inspiration and wisdom to carry you through any endeavor. Who else but that professor of all ages, Dr. Seuss? Now, there are very many good texts out there offered by deep thinkers other than Dr. Seuss, and I'm not demeaning their importance. But from where you are today, looking out at life ahead of you, 
I think it is important that you remember a few things. Chief among them is that life's path is not always clearly revealed. But if you keep your wits and spirits about you, and you always do your best, somehow it does all work out. After all, the only constant in life is change. So if you'll let me, I want to leave you with the following from Oh, The Places You'll Go by Dr. Seuss. Congratulations, today is your day. You're off to great places, you're off and away. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes, you can steer yourself any direction you choose. You'll look up and down streets, look them over with care. About some you will say, I don't choose to go there. With your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet, you're too smart to go down any not so good street. And you may not find any that you'd like. In that case, of course, you'll head straight out of town. Out there things can happen and frequently do to people as brainy and footsy as you. And when things start to happen, don't worry, don't stoop, just go right along, you'll start happening too. Oh, the places you'll go. Wherever you fly, you'll be the best of the best. Wherever you go, you will top all the rest, except when you don't, because sometimes you won't. I'm sorry to say, but sadly it's true that bang-ups and hang-ups can happen to you. You can get all hung up in a prickly perch, and your gang will fly on, you'll be left in a lurch. You'll come down from the lurch with an unpleasant bump, and the chances are then that you'll be in a slump. You can get so confused that you'll start to race down long wiggled roads at breakneck, breaknecking pace and grind on for miles across weirdish wild space, headed, I fear, toward a most useless space, the waiting place, for people just waiting, waiting for the fish to bite, or waiting for the wind to fly a kite, or waiting around for Friday night, or waiting perhaps for their Uncle Jake, or a pot to boil, or a better break. Everyone is just waiting. No, that's not for you. Somehow you'll escape all that waiting and staying. You'll find the bright places where boom bands are playing. Oh, the places you'll go. There is fun to be done. There are points to be scored. There are games to be won. Oh, you'll get mixed up, of course, as you already know. You'll get mixed up with many strange birds as you go. So be sure when you step, step with great care and great tact, and never forget that life's a great balancing act. And will you succeed? Yes, indeed, 98 and 3 quarter percent guaranteed. So, be your name Buxbaum or Bixby or Bray, or Mordecai Alley Van Allen O'Shea. You're off to great places, today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. Congratulations to each and every one of you. I hope you all find your mountain. I know your time at UTSA has prepared you well for your challenge in the future, and I wish you the best of luck. Thank you for lending me your ears. Thank you, Mr. Mickey. Today's ceremony honors first those graduates who have completed the requirements for the master's degree in their respective fields. The master's degree candidates of the College of Business will be certified by Dean Flanagan. Good afternoon. Will, the, will all master's degree candidates of the College of Business please rise and remain standing? President. President Romo, it is a privilege to present candidates for the degree of Master of Business Administration, Master of Science, Master of Arts, or the Master of Taxation. Those who stand before you who have completed all academic requirements have been recommended by the graduate faculty. Thank you, Dean Flanagan. Upon the recommendation of the faculty and by the authority vested in me by the state of Texas through the Board of Regents of the University of Texas system, I now confer upon each one of you the respected academic degrees for which you've been recommended with all the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and obligations pertaining thereto. And I offer my sincere congratulations. Please be seated. The master's degree candidates of the College of Public Policy will be certified by Dean Flanagan. Will all master's degree candidates of the College of Public Policy please rise and remain standing? President Romo, upon recommendation of the graduate faculty, I certify to you that the candidates who stand before you 
who have completed all academic requirements are entitled to receive the Master of Science in Justice Policy or the Master of Public Administration. Thank you, Dean Flanagan. Upon the recommendation of the faculty and by authority vested in me by the state of Texas through the Board of Regents, University of Texas system, I now confer upon each one of you the respected academic degrees for which you have been recommended with, with all the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and obligations pertaining thereto. And I offer my sincere congratulations. Graduates, please be seated. To recognize the bond that exists between faculty and students, professors from each college will have the honor of investing the hood appropriate to the degree earned to each of the master's degree recipients in a symbolic ritual of investiture. Will hooding faculty performing the ceremony for the College of Business please take their place in the designated area? And now, will graduates receiving master's degrees from the College of Business please come forward to be invested with the hood and to, be, and to receive congratulations from Dean Flanagan and President Romo. Faculty investing the hood from the College of Business are Dr. Thomas F. Cannon, Dr. Keith W. Fairchild, Dr. Fathali K. Faruzi, Dr. William T. Flannery, Dr. Juan J. Gonzalez, Dr. James E. Groff, Dr. John D. Merrifield, Dr. Don D. Ashmos, Dr. Diane B. Walls, and Dr. Kei Fung Shu. The following are receiving master's degrees in the College of Business. David Michael Blazowski. <laughs> Naomi Priscilla Bott. Krista Bragg. Rolando Umberto Briones, Jr. Crystal Janae Brown. Christina Grace Carabasa. James Full of Love Klingman. Clark A. Crutchfield. Kermit Cruz. David Michael Enerson. Dana Renee Fennell. Catherine de Blanca Fatino. Lynn Marie Fossey. Carla Lorena Frosto. John Patrick Gallivan, Jr. Naomi Garcia. Kelly Ann Graham. Sherrod S. Gumasti. Violet Noreen Gutierrez. Jeremy Jonathan Haas II. Thomas John Hecker. Samuel Houtkin. Wang Shun Wong. Komrul Islam. Keith J. James. Christopher Scott Janik. Shakira Tehran Johnson. Kevin Lee Johnston. 
Daniel Joseph Karam Jr. Leslie C. Kellner. Venu Kopa Kota. Fidel Galing Likse. Maria G. Luna Chavez. June Wen Maldonado Lopez. Valerie L. Martin. Eileen Martinez. Jennifer Lynn Moyer. Richard Allen Mella. Ralph M Michelle Mendez III. Margaret Moreno Gutierrez. Ivan Horacio Munoz. Cassandra J. Nelson. Mario Andres Orozco. Nicholas Oscar Jr. Daniel Michael Parana. Marcelo Peixoto. John Charles Plumley. Shelby E. Riley. Valerie Christina Rios. Adam Jerome Rodriguez. Sherry Renee Routon. Cody Martin Santos. Robert Louis Stephen. Michelle Eileen Taze. Randolph B. Torres. Ray D. Tucker. Irasima Villanueva. Cynthia Marie Wheeler. William Allen White. Jing Singh. Tony Xu. Ting Shang. The following students are graduating with the Master's of Science degree in Management of Technology awarded jointly by the College of Business and the College of Engineering. John Anthony Fritz. Jessica Gutierrez. Michael Erasmo Rodriguez. Barbara Dean Hendricks. Anne Marie N. Hoogie. Erwin Alfredo Mazariegos. Alejandro Reich. Fusin Jason, Jason Sai. The Hooding faculty from the College of Business may now be seated. Will the faculty performing the hooding investiture for the College of Public Policy move to the hooding area? And now, will graduates receiving master's degrees from the College of Public Policy please come forward to be invested with the hood and to receive congratulations from Dean Flanagan and President Romo. Faculty investing the hood from the College of Public Policy are Dr. Rebecca Peterson and Dr. Francine Sanders Romero.
following are receiving master's degrees in the College of Public Policy. Terry Carr Doby. Diana Z. Flores. Trista Lee Fugate. Edward Gonzalez III. Shannon Kelly Owens. Melissa Sines. Charles Guy Stidham the third. The hooding faculty from the College of Public Policy may now be seated. The baccalaureate degree candidates from the College of Business will be certified by Dean Bublitz. Will all baccalaureate degree candidates of the College of Business please stand and remain standing. President Romo, upon recommendation of the faculty of the College of Business, I certify to you that the candidates standing before you who have completed all academic requirements are entitled to receive their degrees. Thank you, Dean Bublitz. You have a very big college. Upon the recommendation of the faculty and by the authority vested in me by the state of Texas through the Board of Regents at the University of Texas system, I'll now confer upon each one of you the respected academic degrees for which you have been recommended with all the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and obligations pertaining thereto. Wishing you luck, I offer my sincere congratulations. Please be seated. Crossing the stage first to receive their diplomas in each college will be the summa cum laude graduates followed by the magna cum laude graduates followed by the cum laude graduates. These honor graduates wear the gold cord to recognize the excellence each has demonstrated in his or her academic pursuits. Will all graduates of the College of Business please come forward to receive their diplomas and to be congratulated by Dean Bublitz and President Romo. The following are receiving bachelor's degrees in the College of Business. They are graduating with the honor summa cum laude. Paula Denise Avina, summa cum laude. Kristen M. Bird, summa cum laude. James L. Chandler, summa cum laude. Maria G. Souther, summa cum laude. The following are graduating with bachelor's degrees in the College of Business. They are graduating with the honor magna cum laude. John Christopher Daxon, magna cum laude. Ronald Wayne Johnson, magna cum laude.
Carla M. Palmer, magna cum laude. Kimberly Ann Proctor, magna cum laude. Jessica Ann Schulze, magna cum laude. Jeannie Yvette Towsley, magna cum laude. Fong N. Tron, magna cum laude. The following are, are receiving bachelor's degrees in the College of Business. They are graduating with the honor cum laude. Michael J. Barlow, cum laude. Andre Barche, cum laude. J. R. Bockerstedt, cum laude. Roy T. Calvo, cum laude. Kelly Joe Davis, cum laude. Adrian Devoto, cum laude. Carolyn Deanne Douglas, cum laude. Veronica Espinosa, cum laude. Lisa Denise Gonzalez, cum laude. Jose A. Gutierrez, cum laude. Teresa Marie Icaro, cum laude. Jerry R. Lindemann, cum laude. Shannon Marie McCarthy, cum laude. Tiffany Renee Munzler, cum laude. Martin G. Rodriguez, cum laude. Beth Spearman, cum laude. Patricia Ann Suarez, cum laude. John L. Sullivan III, cum laude. Robert M. Thompson, cum laude. Anthony Jonathan Weiss, cum laude. The following are graduating with bachelor's degrees in the College of Business. Troy Joseph Abrams. Donna Marie Samatu Adcock. Arciela Alamo Velez. Ramiro Alcarta III. Saima S. Ali. Scott Allen. Francine G. Alonzo. Denise Adele Sid Alvarez. Ropal Allen Anderson. Shelly Lynn Armstrong. Stephanie Spade Arzola. Norma Astorga Garcia. Atom Dadakas Ayuk Obi. Robert De Leon Barrientos. Vanessa Bazan. Rogelio Baza. Malika Prani Benson. Nicholas J. Bergman. Alejandro Bermejo. Cody Blackman. Melinda K. Boatwright. Elizabeth Ann Bowling. Mark Stephen Boyette. James Christian Boynton. Austin S. Bradley. Joshua Ward Bramel. Denise Dawn Briggs. Luis Alejandro Brito. William R. Broman III. Paul David Browse, Jr. Michael Shane Brown. Emily Suzanne Buck. Angelica M. Calderon. Miguel D. Calderon. 
Sonia Marie Campa. Gloria Cannon Lozano. Robert J. Carlson. Pete Carrera. Roseanne Marie Casanova. Sherlinda Ann Casey. Gary Michael Kaysen. Maria S. Costanon. Francisco Castillo III. Zaquejo Basilio Castro. Hoi Yi Chan. Matthew Taylor Chapman. Alfredo Chavez. Amir Galvan Cirlos. Maria Juanita Claycomb. Cecily Ann Coleman. Daryl Lewis Columbus. Anne Marie Contreras. Sherry Rawls Correa. Anika Marie Cortez. Sandra Cortez. Ricardo Cortinas III. Jonathan Corey. Jose Luis Covarrubias. Ty Stewart Creek. Anthony Jeffrey Curtis. Brett Lewis Diverell. Christine Nicole Davis. Alejandro Del Moral. <laughs> Tiffany Del Pozo. Michael Richard De Leon. Miguel J. Delgado, Jr. Ronald E. Dixon. Robert Daniel Dodier. Christian Sean Donahue. Jacqueline Marie Douglas. Don Alyssa Driscoll. John Dramala. Athena Dudley. William Eggleston. Rosa E. Elgesabal. Juan C. Estrada. Philip L. Falgu. Janet Faulkner. Christina Granado Fernandez. Sandra Fernandez. Stephanie L. Field. Joy Finneran, Jennifer Flores, Elizabeth Garcia, Juan Javier Garcia, Rebecca Selena Garcia, Vanessa Ann Garcia, Jorge Alberto Garcia Garza, Alex F. Garza. Belinda Garza. Christina Celeste Garza. Erica Isabel Garza. Gennaro Garza, Jr. Adriana Gascon Guzman. Steve James, uh, Georgia Lacus. Mary Joy Santos Gernale. Michael Gibson. Laura Adele Glick. Lula Gomez. Maria Cristina Gonzalez. Rogelio Javier Gonzalez. Eric H. Gonzalez. C. 
Sylvia Miranda Gonzalez. Jasmine Gonzalez. Ava Maria Goodner. Tammy Ann Gould. Eric M. Goza. Peter Mark Grabiak. Carmen Olivia Granados. Robert Pershing Green III. Gary Scott Gregory. Kieran Byron Griffith. Cullen Thomas Grennan Jr. Marianne Fernandez Gorin. Gennaro Yavada. Luis Guido. Michelle Nadia Guillen. Armando Gutierrez, Jr. Angie M. Gutierrez. Maria Guadalupe Cuellar Gutierrez. Santa Cecilia Gutierrez. Deborah S. Hackerson. Lori Hageman. Karen Elaine Hanbury. Shannon D. Harrison. Heidi Claudette Sawadi Husband. Yolanda Hermosillo. Bettina Angelica Hernandez. Renee C. Hernandez. Joe Paz Herrera. Travis Lee Higgs. Angela Marie Hines. Dax B. Hosley. Thomas L. Hogan. Kendra M. Hodgkin. Diana L. Hubbard. Alberto S. Huerta. Lorraine Huerta. Amy Ann Hughes. Jared S. Hunter. Carl R. Israel. Dontria N. Johnson. Lisa Marie Juarez. Wayne Curtis Cavanaugh. Brian Matthew Keene. Kevin J. Kelly. Konika Kasatha. Taijin Kim. Rachel Elizabeth King. Travis Lee Kuzma. Patrick James Lang. Jennifer Lee Laubach. Michael Paul Ledesma. Jisun Lee. Scott Michael Lee. Jessica Lee Leonard. Michael Edmund Lester. Terry Arlene Lufroy. Corin Simone Levitas. Carmen Pearl Livens. Raphael David Limon. Robert D. Lindsay, Jr. Catherine Emily Linton. Jared Michael Luttrell. Kathleen Susan Curran Loftus. Gianna Estevez Lopez. Eric Michael Luby. Matthew John Lyro. Isom S. Mack. Jesus David Mar Marmolejo. May S. Martin. Esmeralda C. Martinez. Jose Luis Mata, Jr. 
Michael Robert McCall. New England H. McIntyre. Michael, An Michael Allen McNeil. Juan Jose Medina III. Roman Medina Jr. Jason Edward Miles. Mary Lou Miller. Rusty Lamar Mix. Michael Andrew Morales. Troy Donald Mitchell. Cristalina Francis Molina. Alfonso Matamayor II. Sharon H. Montenegro. Samuel Alfredo Moore. Miguel R. Morales, Jr. Rafael Morales, Jr. Stephanie Morales. Maria Moreno Tisdale. Veronica Muskis. Belzebeth Nava Flores. Kathleen Marie Sanchez Navarro. Carlos Antonio Navarro Alvarado. Heather T. Nelms. Con T. Nyok Nguyen. Meredith M. Nichols. Sean Matthew Noster. Randy Allen Alfers. Jesus Julian Olgian. Koichi Ono. Gianella Bianca Oropesa. Claudio Orpanel. Matthew Austin. Grace Marie. Grace Marie Pablo. Claudia Elena Palafox. Jose Palafox. Matthew W. Palmer. Brian Lee Pannell. Amish Mahesh Patel. Crystal Renee Patton. Benjamin J. Paz. Andrew David Perez. Dante E. Perez. David Perez. David Perez. Michael Ciprian Perez. Don Pham. Pauline L. Pillowan. Jill R. Pierce. Robert Matthew Perner. Deborah Poland. David Eugene Poole. Rose Marie Portillo. Jaime Pruneda. Jose Gabriel Puente. David Quintana. Nancy Quintero. Amy Dawn Ramirez. Gino Ramirez. Jesse R. Ramos. Denise Yvette R Rangel. Mary Cruz Rangel. David Andrew Ray. Lauren A. Raynor. Charlie Manance Reed the Fourth. Jason Richard Reyes. Antoinette Rodriguez. Enrique Ricardo Rodriguez. Jose Adrian Rodriguez. 
Jose Fernando Rodriguez. Joseph Caleb Rodriguez. Josephine Ando Rodriguez. Leticia Ann Rodriguez. Roger Rodriguez. Maxi D. Ross. Sylvia Ann Rossett. Janine M. Rubio. Davina M. Salazar. Andre W. Salem. Mayela Salinas. Jacob Sanchez. Mariela Sanchez. Judith Elizabeth Sandoval. Martin Gabriel Santos. Crystal Renee Salceda. Diana Beatrice Salcedo. Michelle Lynn Schneider. Shane Christopher Schultz. Rebecca Dawn Scott. Carlos Aaron Segura. Michael Sepulveda. Robert Gerard Seidel. Ashna J. Shaw. Rachel Elizabeth Shea. Nelson D. Sims. Charles William Skinner. Richard Solis. Todd Allen Spink. Norma Elena Suarez. Kimberly D. Taylor. Yashika L. Taylor. Nay Somsi Tepafati. James Michael Thurmond. Maria Tinajero. Heriberto Torres, Jr. Lisa Michelle Tovar. Nathan P. Town. Ricky Wayne Tre Trevzer. Jeanette Urtialis. Fernando L. Uribe. Sandra Valle Ramirez. Brian Andrew Van Cleve. Joe Richard Vasquez. Dominic Andrew Vasquez. Hector Vesey. Michelle Summer Virial. Selena Villasenor. Christy Marie Walker. Stephanie R. Weslow. Brenna Lee Whitfield. Benjamin Charles Wildy. Adrian W. Wong. Nicole Yuchung Wong. Christy Lee Wright. Todd H. Wyckoff. Margaret G. Yantis. Yet Hang Hyang. Nadia Eugenia Zerchi. Xiao Yan Zhang. Christina Delmar Ziegler. Marissa Zuniga. Maria Chavar Chavaria. The baccalaureate degree candidates of the College of Public Policy will be certified by Dean Zabata.
Will all baccalaureate degree candidates in the College of Public Policy please stand and remain standing. President Romo, I certify to you that the candidates who stand before you have completed all academic requirements, have been recommended by the faculty of the College of Public Policy, and are entitled to receive their degrees. Thank you, Dean Zapata. Upon recommendation of the faculty and by authority vested in me by the state of Texas, to the Board of Regents of the Univers University of Texas system, I now confer upon each one of you the respective academic degree for which you have been recommended with all the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and obligations pertaining thereto, and I offer my sincere congratulations. Please be seated. Will all graduates of the College of Public Policy please come forward to receive their diplomas and to be congratulated by Dean Zapata and President Romo. The following are receiving bachelor's degrees in the College of Public Policy. They are graduating with the honor magna cum laude. Cass Allen Cheslack, magna cum laude. The following are receiving bachelor's degrees in the College of Public Policy. Victor Alvarez. Thomas Andrew Ayala. Carissa L. Benavides. Marco A. Bermia, Jr. Lisa Doreen Bowers. Robert Calderon II. Abundio Rene Cantu. Adrian Cantu. Paul A. Carola. Melissa D. Castillo. Stephanie A. Colburn. Seda Colindris, Catherine Jean Collins, Patrick John Davis, Javier Mauricio Escamilla de los Santos, Jeanette G. Diaz, Charles Michael Edwards, Richard R. Elkins, Eduardo Fernandez III, Michael W. Fine, Rebecca K. Fluitt, Carrie Marie Fry, Jeffrey G. Gallardo, Kimberly Garcia, Jesus Perez Garcia, Jaime Anthony Gonzalez, Jr. Elizabeth Gonzalez, Barbara A. Hayes Libby, Darren Christopher Henderson, Cecilia Ibarra, Pamela Annette Jackson, Brian Mark Corey, Michael Leal, Oscar Leos. David Christopher Light, Patricia Lozano, Cecilia Luna, Arthur Zapata Medina, Rafaela Rene Miranda, Monica Moreno, Kenneth Eric Morgan. Kenneth Wayne Ortensi, Jr. 
Manuel S. Para, Casey Kevin Pierce, Marie Christina Perez, Lisa Di Diana Persat, Corey Matthew Randall, Daniel Rangel, Christy Ritchie, Richard T. Sanchez, Timothy Raymond Scranton, Priscilla Sheridan Roberson, Linda Lee Sluzarski, 2nd Lieutenant, United States Air Force, Mario Solis, Irene Cassiano Soto, Gavin Marcus Stein, Sarah Ann Victoria Stulga, Jeffrey Ruiz Torres, Robert Vara, Gracie Villa Zavala, To signify a rite of passage and graduation from the University of Texas at San Antonio, will the graduates please shift the tassel on your mortarboards to the left side. Congratulations. R. Rene Escobedo received a Bachelor of Business Administration degree in accounting from UTSA in 1984 and his law degree from St. Mary's University in 1992. Rene is an attorney and certified public accountant. He has his own law practice in San Antonio with law partner Renal Gonzalez, uh, BS in Biology, 1989 from UTSA. Rene is a past participant of the Leadership San Antonio program and has been involved in various civic and community activities since his graduation from UTSA. Some of those activities include the Greater San Antonio Chamber of Commerce, Catholic Charities, Board of Trustees for the United Way of San Antonio, the Pressa Community Clinic, Child Abuse Prevention Services, the American Lung Association, and the American Leukemia Society. Rene is serving his second term as president of the UTSA Alumni Association and has been a board member since 1997. Renee is married to UTSA alumna Patricia Villarreal Escobedo. Patricia has two degrees from UTSA. They have one daughter, Victoria, and are joint life members of the Alumni Association. Mr. Escobedo will now greet today's graduating class on behalf of the association. Thank you. Again, congratulations. Welcome to the UTSA alumni family, now more than 50,000 strong. As president of the Alumni Association, it's my privilege and honor to be part of your commencement exercise today. Adding my words of congratulations to those that you're receiving today from faculty, family, and friends. I'm also particularly proud to be here today with one of my fellow alumni, Jim Mickey, who also serves on the Alumni Association Board and who I sincerely and deeply call my friend. I'm gonna keep my remarks brief because I know you're eager to join your, fr your family and friends. Commencement is a beginning, not an end. During your time at UTSA, you've worked, played, studied, but most of all, you've grown. And as Dr. Romo said earlier, you've taken many different paths on your journey to UTSA, but today you stand here together, ready to begin your new careers as college graduates. And as Dr. Romo said earlier, to shape our future. 
For some of you, this means more years of study and preparation. For others, you'll be starting a new career path or advancing your career goals. But whatever your future holds in store for you, it's my, it's my sincere hope that you will look back on your years at UTSA as having prepared you to meet and deal with the challenges that life will, will present you. Also, please keep in mind those special people who have helped you along the way, and as your time and means allow, give back to UTSA. Stay involved with the university. It's one of the most rewarding things you can do. Finally, I want to wish each and every one of you the happiness of a productive life, the respect of your fellow human beings, and the love of your family. For those of you who have a class ring, now is the time for you to take off your ring and turn it around so that the insignia faces out towards the rest of the world, signifying that you are now an alumnus of UTSA. Again, congratulations, good luck. Thank you, Mr. Escobedo. This commencement also honors the family and friends who have been more than spectators in the accomplishments we recognize today. They've been active participants in these graduates' achievements through their patience, encouragement, and sacrifices. We wish to publicly recognize and thank you for the role you have played. Will the parents of today's graduates please stand and remain standing to be recognized? Please remain standing. Please remain standing. Now will the spouses and children of today's graduates stand and be recognized. And finally, will the grandparents, grandchildren, aunts and uncles, cousins, godparents, and others who hold a special relationship to these graduates please stand. Thank you very much. I would also like to recognize two more individuals. First of all, Dr. Patricia Graham, who is the Executive Director of the Office of Special Events, and she with her staff and ambassadors are responsible for putting on this uh, ceremony, and this is the third time they've done it today. Dr. Graham is seated to my left. I would also like to recognize Robert Rustowitz, professor of music, who is in the balcony, who is, provides us with the music uh, at every graduation ceremony. Thank you, and I ask you to stand and join Jennifer Root as she leads us in the singing of the UTSA alma mater. Will the audience please be seated? 
We ask that all guests please remain seated until the graduates have left the Convocation Center. We invite all graduates and guests to join the faculty and staff of your college in a reception following this commencement ceremony. The reception will be held in the University Center East Wing and will be hosted by the UTSA Alumni Association. Will the University Marshal take up the mace and the faculty marshals retrieve the college banners and lead the graduates in the recessional? This signifies the conclusion of the University's December 2001 commencement ceremony.
Thank you. 